So uh, the state that I live in just passed an AR ban, and a lot of liberals have been very, very excited about the fact that Washington has passed a ban on assault type weapons, which means that, um, you know, the AR 15s, one of the most popular guns in America, is no longer legal to purchase or sell. Now, there's a problem that you might, if you have a brain, you might immediately realize what the problem is here, right? You might, like, literally instantly recognize. Uh, what the problem is with doing a ban uh, on the sale and purchase of an assault rifle is. And if, if can somebody in chat, can anybody, can any of my imps tell me what the problem is with that, right? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody in chat? Anybody can give me that? Na ah, yes, thank you. YouTube chat beat you. YouTube chat beat you to it. Lil Lily says, now people who already own ARs can easily dominate those without them. That's correct. That's interesting. So all of those gun nut uh, Republicans, all of those conservatives who've been stockpiling ARs and have 25 ARs shared across three cousins, uh, well, they don't have to give those up. You just can't get one. You just can't have one. So if you're a young person, you turn, you know, uh, I think the previous age, you had to be 21 to purchase a rifle previously. You turn 21 and you decide you wanna be safe in a country that has a million guns all over the place. Uh, you can't get one. But, uh, but the skinhead gang, two towns over, well, they've already got their stockpile. So they're not impacted at all. See, there's, there's actually, this is a big problem, which is that half measures don't do anything. Okay, I'm gonna give you another example of something similar, which is a well-meaning liberal reform that actually doesn't do anything at all, okay? Um, in previously to this ban, uh, it was required that you take a state-mandated safety course uh, before you can purchase a, uh, an assault rifle. An, an AR type rifle, which I, I I can't even tell you what the exact designation of that is off the top of my hands because every single state has a different designation of what determines an AR type rifle. I believe it's based on barrel length uh, and the type of stop and the type of handle. So if it has a pistol style grip, um, if it has like a grip that you hold like this uh, and it has a certain length of barrel, that is usually what a lot of states will use to determine an assault type rif rifle, okay? Um, so uh, uh, um, in this state, prior to the ban, you would have to take a safety test. Now a safety test can be issued by any um, uh, licensed gun dealer, uh, or, or sorry, they have to, there's a specific license that you can get to be a safety instructor. And as it turns out, most of the safety instructors for guns that exist are right wing. So let me tell you the exact experience. I will tell you my personal experience of purchasing uh, a rifle in this state, okay? Uh, they t you go to the gun store and the gun clerk rolls his eyes and goes, have you taken the safety course yet? And you go, yes, no. If you say no, which most people will because obviously you just do it there in the store, they go, okay, walk over to our tablet over there. And, and open up and just press the safety course button. And they'll have a little website that you open. And here's what it, what happens. Uh, the, you open up the website and it, it will say on the top, it'll be like American, America First Patriot Association of Gun Safety uh, Licensees or Licensors. And then the first thing goes, uh, it goes like this, it goes, Thank you for for beginning the safe the uh, the unnecessary liberal safety course required by the uh, by the uh, Democrat bureaucrats in the state of Washington. Uh, if you think that this is a stupid test, which it is, uh, but you have to take it, uh, uh, g uh, make sure that you sign up for our six Patriot mailing lists and register to vote as. Republican here. Our organization stands firmly against pointless, idiotic paperwork like this that doesn't statistically protect anyone. Here's three studies you have to read from Republican think tanks that tell you that none of this stuff does anything good. Press next. Then you press next. Then there's a block of text that says, here's the, the, the minimum required safety rules that you must understand. Click to agree. Sign. You're done. You get your gun. That's it. That's the, that's, that's what the liberal, that, and, and they're not wrong. 
It was a liberal bureaucrat that pushed through this idiotic law that doesn't do anything. But what they do is they literally use it as an opportunity to, re to recruit to, for the Republican Party. It's one of the most effective things I've ever seen. And they literally are making fun of Democrats the entire time through. They're like, if, you are a, if you're a brave American patriot who believes in freedom and you don't want to have to do stupid, pointless paperwork and wait times for your gun, then you should check here to join the Patriot Newsletter of America. Oh God, it's so bad. But that's literally what it is. Wait, no, in, in Maine, in Maine, rural people in Maine sound like this. Hey there, Bob, what you doing there? You getting a gun this weekend? You want to go shooting there? Come on with me, let's go. Come on, Bob, let's go. Wait times actually aren't a bad thing, statistically. Yes, nuts. Uh, I actually don't disagree with wait times. Um, of course, Republicans disagree with wait times, but wait times are actually one of the ones that does help. As it turns out, um, wait times prevent crimes of passion uh and yeah so those are actually not a bad type of gun control they're annoying for sure but um i don't actually think they're a bad thing i will still say that you should have to do what you have to with a car well statistically cars are more dangerous than guns um cars are way more dangerous with guns you know that like with a car you can immediately kill like an enormous amount of people right and like People do kill people with their cars, like, constantly. Cars are the ultimate death machine in America. It's actually kind of wild. Uh, people say you should have to do the same thing for a gun that you should for a car, but a car is just more dangerous. A gun, you have to be within, like, 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 Yes, guns are dangerous. I'm not trying to downplay the danger of guns. They're weapons of death, obviously. Um, but, uh, car, like, People plow their cars into buildings on like a regular basis. They fall asleep at the wheel and they plow into a cafe and like s like send a hurtling two ton piece of metal into people's fl soft fleshy bodies. It's deranged. And drunk driving is like a huge issue. And there's tons of them. Cars are everywhere. And also, like, well, look, I don't want to spend all time talking about this. The point is, there are some types of gun control that do actually make the country safer. For example, common sense wait periods, I don't have a huge problem with, personally. I actually think they're pretty good because they prevent people from getting mad, running to the store, and buying a gun. However, I will also point out that there are still ways that people can get a gun. Um, uh, uh, in a country like America, where so many people have guns, a lot of people won't buy a gun to do a crime with. They'll borrow a gun or they'll steal a gun. Um, and that's why it's really important to keep your guns safe and your house safe. People stocking up on guns need to be on a list? Um, no, actually they don't uh, need to be on a list, as it turns out. Um, because, uh, America has literal hundreds of years of history of gun ownership, so people have every right to stock up on guns. Now, if you want to change that, if you want to, if you want to completely overhaul the system, then you need to do a system to de, to de-proliferate guns in America, but that will never happen, okay? And let me explain why this would never happen, okay? Hold on, let me explain this. I've talked about this before, but I want to, there's new people in here who don't understand, Who's going to be taking the guns, okay? If America passes a gun buyback program or a gun uh, confiscation program, who will be doing the confiscation? It will be the police. The police will be confiscating the guns. The police as an organization leans somewhere in the ballpark of 70% in support of Trump and well over that in support of gun ownership. So when that law passes, who do you think is going to have their guns confiscated first? Who do you think is going to be, who, who do you think is going to have time to go hide their guns? It's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be white people getting their guns confiscated first. It's going to be black people, gay people, trans people, uh, 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 people of color of all types. It's going to be minority groups who are going to have their guns confiscated first and foremost, while white, while rich white people have the time to go ferret away all their guns and lose them 
uh, uh, so they can remain armed. It's, and also just keep in mind that there's a very good chance that if you if a law like this passed, that the the uh, that the authorities would just refuse to comply, that the that the police would just say no, we won't enforce this law, and they have the ability to do that. America has so many guns. Most most of you people who aren't from America do not understand how many guns are in America. Okay. Uh, statistically, there are more guns in America by a long shot than there are fucking people in America, okay? There is a lot of, that's personal ownership. That's not just talking about, uh, that's not including like military weaponry. Guns are literally everywhere here, okay? If you're looking at a house in America, chances are there's a gun in that house. Deranged, okay? People who live in America have every right to, uh, especially leftists, okay? Leftists who live in America have every right to be, uh, uh, to be as armed as their right-wing opponents, okay? You should never, uh, I mean, if individually, if you don't think you're safe to own a gun, if you don't live in a, in, a, in a, if your life is not in a place where it's safe for you to own a gun, please do not own a gun. I'm not telling people to own guns no matter what. But what I'm saying is you have the right to. You should not be forced into a legal uh, or even a moral position to disempower yourself against people who uh, genuinely believe that, that you should die. Okay, I want people to understand that, that like the idea of a bloody revolution is extremely common in the minds of Republicans, okay? I grew up in a firmly Republican family, okay? And every single one of them firmly believed in the idea that the that that the tree of liberty must be watered with the blood of patriots. They very, very much believe in the use of violent force to their own ends, okay? Vontux with the $5. Thank you very, very much for the $5 super chat. Vontux says, the issue seems clearly to be an issue of right-wing gun culture getting so bloodthirsty and our social safety nets further collapsing each year. Of course, um, as social safety nets collapse, as poverty increases, which it is, um, as the wealth gap increases, more and more people are forced into violent lines of work, into, into uh, 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 drugs, into uh, uh, you know, violent crime, into uh, forced prostitution. That is a way that people have to survive when they can't make a living any other way. And of course, you combine that with a right-wing gun culture, a right-wing gun culture that does not teach safety, a right-wing gun culture which propagates a complete lack of safety, okay? Dust Aeon says, decades ago, the German government made an offer to buy guns from citizens, from citizens that were left over from World War II, uh, and almost no one sold their guns. Germany didn't have any gun culture at that time, or, or nowadays. So the idea is that in fucking America, people would sell their weapons is insane. Yeah, they would never do it. You understand that, okay, if you walk into any gun shop in America, the first thing that you will see in that gun shop, besides like the guns on the wall, is a wall of bumper stickers, uh, patches, at whatever, uh, you know, uh, 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 t-shirts, hats, all of them that say, come and take it, okay? The gun culture in America believes that, it, that the liberals are gonna try and take your guns at any moment. And these people, they do drills in, the, in case liberals come to take their guns, okay? I'm not kidding you. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking even in the slightest, okay? Um, it's wild, all right? You have to understand what you're dealing with. You really have to understand what you're dealing with, all right? I know that a lot of people, um, I know that a lot of people have, uh, you know, have, uh, have, uh, hesitancy towards gun ownership, and that's okay. I want people to be as safe as possible, and I want people to understand, I say this every single time I talk about gun ownership, literally every single time, okay? Um, but... Uh, uh, um, the first thing that you need to understand is that guns are not the first line of community defense, okay? Making sure that people are fed, making sure that people are housed, making sure that people have their needs taken care of, 
those that right there, ensuring people's needs are taken care of is the number one most important way that you can make your community and your future safer. I'm not kidding you. That no ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? Way more important than gun ownership. But that doesn't mean that gun ownership isn't important at all. It just means that we should focus on feeding people who need food, housing people who need houses, helping people who need health care in every way that we can, okay? Any person, any one of us here who's a Second Amendment appreciator should also recognize that before that, if you truly believe in safety and, and self-defense, then you have to take the first step, which is recognizing that what, which is recognizing what causes violence in the first place. Um, it's actually phenomenally rare. Random acts of violence among humans are phenomenally rare. Okay, most of the time when humans are engaged in violence, it is because of some need that is driving them. They need to steal something because they need money. They uh, they are sick. Uh, they are they don't have a home and so they have to trespass these are all kinds of things that drive violent encounters among humans okay random acts of violence are phenomenally rare and of course i always recommend this one of the most important things that you can do to increase safety in a country like america or anywhere is take a stop the bleed course can we get some stop the bleed uh, in chat it takes 20 minutes 20 that's it it only takes 20 minutes for you to go online and learn how to safely deal uh, with knife and bullet wounds through a Stop the Bleed course. StopTheBleed.org is a, uh, a website, a nonprofit website that was specifically set up by a massive alliance of doctors, nurses, and emergency workers who came together to create a course to teach everyday people the, the most basic wound care uh, practices. It takes 20 minutes to learn, and I, let me tell you, that knowledge is very important. Proliferating that knowledge means people could, could live who would otherwise die. You could save a life because you know how to treat a wound. Take the time out of your day, if you're passionate at all about any of these things, go bookmark that and take 20 minutes to learn Stop the Bleed. Seriously. I'm dead serious. It is so important and I cannot encourage you enough. If everybody in this community learned stop the bleed, the world would be a safer place. You never know when somebody's gonna get injured. Not even, even outside of considering firearms, okay? Even outside of considering guns. Somebody falls and gets stabbed by a stick. Somebody gets a gash. Stop the bleed will help you. Uh, bleeding is one of the most common causes of death after injury because people don't actually know how to stop the body from bleeding and it really makes a difference um, to the degree that like knowing how to apply a tourniquet and when to apply a tourniquet uh, it, it, it improves the likelihood of survival um, I, I don't want to cite a number exactly but it is phenomenal if somebody is on site when a severe injury happens who knows how to apply a tourniquet and how to do it safely, not only is the likelihood of them losing that limb w go way down, because lots of people are under the false belief that tourniquets cause you to lose limbs. They hurt, but they don't actually, they actually, it's actually uh, relatively easy to prevent the loss of a limb provided that a tourniquet can be applied properly. It's pretty important. Pretty impressive. What about when the kids are too small for you to stop the bleed? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just wanna be clear here. Is there somebody in chat who thinks that anybody here is in, like, in favor? What are you, are you, de are you deranged? Do you? <sighs> oh my God. So This is one of the things that drives me so crazy is that every time you try to talk about these issue stupid liberals uh stumble in uh stupid fucking liberals stumble in and say dumb things that don't actually address it meanwhile meanwhile every single conservative uncle that you know is buying weaponry handing it to their 16 year old kid and being like have a good one son right-wing gun culture in this country is out of control and the 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 right-wing gun culture is is like the nra is a massive massive organization and the nra okay those guys don't give half of a shit about safety as much as the people that are you're listening to right now
You think you you think that any uh, that anybody here uh, uh, wants to do anything but reduce the occurrence of injuries? I've spent more of this segment talking about how to be safe than I have actually talking about guns. God, people are dumb. And by the way, that right there, what we're see, what you see when when libs stumble in here and go, you kids blown away. Uh, when they do shit like that, the, the like the like concern trolling, the concern trolling that doesn't actually engage with anything that's being said, that is what every single conservative in the country b expects from liberals. That is what they tell you that liberals are like. They'll say, oh, "I was teaching my kids how to be safe with firearms," and this this city liberal scrolled up and said, hey, 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 "You're gonna blow away a kid with that." <laughs> you actually live up to the stereotype, and you make it harder for those of us who are trying to reduce harm, for those of us who are trying to build a healthy culture in a country that is overrun with guns. So with all due respect, shove it up your ass. You're acting like this doesn't happen every week. Why do you think I'm fucking talking about it, you dumb shit? Why do you think I'm talking about building a safer gun culture? A gun culture where people treat their guns with respect, where people have communal oversight over their guns. You want to know how to make sure guns are safe in a country where, okay, no, you know what? Let me tell you a quick anecdote. I'm going to use an illustrative anecdote, okay? I grew up in a very right-wing family, okay? I grew up, I even took gun safety courses. But do you want to know what it was like in my house? In the house that I grew up in, my dad had guns with no safety on them, deliberately purchased guns that do not have a safety on them, hidden around his house. It, uh, on my dad's on my dad's old bookshelf, there was a gun there was a book. You had to know which book it was to look for, but if you pulled it out, there was a gun hidden, cut out of the pages of the book. No safety on that gun. My dad had a shotgun uh, hidden underneath the couch that anybody could reach and grab. No safety on that gun. Okay? Same thing for my uncle. All right, they had guns all over their house because they believed that it was an, an imminent fact that there was going to be unrest, that rioters were gonna break through their windows and try to get them. So that's what's going on in conservative households across the country. You wanna know why uh, it's so easy for kids, uh, for, for kids to go do a, a school shooting. It's because there's a million fucking stupid ass conservatives running around with guns with no safety on them, sitting out openly in their house. It's because, uh, because these kids, uh, 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 these shooters grow up in households where their guns aren't stored safely, where their guns only have, uh, have no eyes on them at all. You want to know how much harder it is to get away with taking a gun and doing a crime when you have five people who are always aware of a gun's location? If your entire house is always aware where the gun is supposed to be, when you walk downstairs and you see that, uh, your gun safe has been opened and one of the guns is missing, Instead of the likelihood of just having five guns hidden across your house, them laying all over the place? Ridiculous. The, 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 the thing that drives me so crazy about people who come in chat and make stupid snide comments about atrocities um, is that they don't actually care. They're... Uh, they are only interested in virtue signaling. They're, they're looking at... They're, they're, they want to seem... It's the smugness. It's... I hate to... I hate... Uh, to say this, but the the conservatives have always been right about one thing, which is that liberals are smug as fuck. They come in and they go, <laughs> "I'm enlightened. I don't arm myself. <laughs> you who are who are trying to teach people to be safe with weaponry, you're just going to blow away children. No, you idiot. The people who get these guns live in households where the guns aren't kept track of. Liberal smugness is the ultimate preventer of getting any positive change ever. Yup. Conservatives who fucking spend their time shooting cans in their backyard uh, uh, with with like no safety practices whatsoever. Uh, p conservatives will go out into the woods with six guns and they won't even bring a, uh, a first aid kit. I like guns and I literally don't even think people should have them and I'm an anarchist. Well, hmm. Um, that's fine. And I can understand and sympathize with pacifistic routes. Um, but I just don't think that's realistic and it's not what I believe. Um, uh, I don't like, there is no, there is literally no path 
towards disarmament in America at the moment, okay? Um, and uh, like none, okay? I think we have a we have I think we have a higher likelihood of passing nuclear disarmament, like global nuclear disarmament, than we do at passing uh, meaningful actual disarmament in the United States of guns. I actually, like unironically, I think it's more likely that you would get global nuclear disarmament because at least with nukes, everybody can acknowledge that a single nuke existing is a threat to the entire planet. But people don't believe that about guns. Too Clever by Half says, I live with a depressed person. I will never have a gun. Good. That is totally reasonable. There is, I've literally said it like three times here and it still isn't enough, but I'm gonna say it again. I'm not saying that every person needs to own a gun. I'm saying that uh, uh, your, your political opponents likely own a gun. If you are in a safe place to own a gun, it's a good thing to own a gun safely. You're not wrong if you don't, If in fact, you are correct for assessing your situation and deciding whether or not it's safe to own a gun. I am trying to promote very strongly, one of the things I believe in very strongly is promoting a new gun culture in America that is way more safe and way less dangerous, okay? So is it just an arms race? No, you've lost the race. The left lost the, the, the arms race, okay? The left in America is severely underarmed in comparison to the right. Now, I don't believe that there is ever going to be a a uh, 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 like a civil war esque people line up in a field and battle each other one to one. But you have to understand, in rural America, one of the like it's it's not an uncommon thing for people to go shooting with their friends every single weekend. Right wingers will go and talk about uh, what they watched on Charlie Kirk's show, what they watched on Fox News, what they watched on uh, Tucker Carlson and Steven Crowder uh, while shooting guns. They'll do that every weekend. Militias in rural America are a actual source of political power for the right. They form strong political movements via militia organizing because they take this shit seriously. It's not a, it's not an arms race. The arms race was already lost. So what I'm trying to advocate is for people to be open to gun ownership and to be open to making a new an answer, a true answer to the heinously unhealthy right-wing gun culture. I would absolutely love it if there was a firmly left, firmly safety focused gun ownership movement in America. If we had like magazines that were leftist focused magazines that talked about gun rights, gun safety, uh, and the pro and, and like how to train people to do guns and ran those alongside leftist political messaging. Can you imagine? I mean, my show is one of them. You tune into my show, you hear me talking about guns that I find interesting. You hear me talking about when I went shooting, you hear me talking about safety all together. And guess what? The people who come listen to that also get to hear my political takes, which teach them to be better than fucking hateful bigots. By the way, if you are here and you've been enjoying me ranting angrily about the state of guns in America, press subscribe right now. Don't wait a single minute. Press subscribe. You know you want to be a part of the imps and make sure you press like on the YouTube video. Uh, I am a very political channel. I talk about a lot of different stuff. One of them is guns, um, as you can see. So if you've been enjoying this, press that like and subscribe button, please.